The development in the city has made plenty of commercial and residential spaces, but not enough parking, particularly in areas like JLT, JBR, Marina and others. We asked the residents how and where they find parking. I live in JPR myself, so I thankfully have remote control access, but like my friends, it's a nightmare. So if I'm having people home, I usually go down, give them the keys and let them in before they can, so they can actually park. The parking that's available there is not enough. So you'll find that there's almost an exact match. Sometimes I find a way to um, get into uh, friends' places in JBR, or I will park in the sand ditch, which is located at the very end of the uh, JBR lot. Um, so that's where I usually park. Places like JLT, parking is available in terms of the underground facilities in the different clusters. But given the number of offices, uh, there might be a difficulty from time to time. The area is so crowded with shops and uh, tourist area and buildings which makes the parking really a big issue there. There is a big issue, but you know, the walk is developing a, a, a new, uh, it's, it's, they're doing a new development called the beach. That's going to really uh, help with the parking. They're making a huge parking lot. To combat parking issues, JLT has started a two-hour visitor parking rule which, if exceeded, gives a 200 dirham fine. Is this justified? In a way, it's justified because if that level wasn't in place, then obviously they, it would make the whole situation worse. Right. So, you know, people do have their parking, but then they have in mind that it's only for two hours. If you want to go there, uh, have lunch or uh, an uh, activity there, you need more, definitely more than two hours and uh, you know you don't enjoy your time to you know about the parking parking should be sufficient for uh, business visitors who usually go there for uh, client meetings but the the 200 dirham fine is too much and the free parking is good but i think 200 dirham is a bit expensive as well tourist areas retail outlets malls all face parking crunch here are some solutions offered by the residents the only way I look at resolving parking issues would be to come up with uh, more public parking spaces. As they're building up more and more and more, it's becoming a lot more hard, a lot more busy, and it's very annoying. In the parking situation in general in Dubai, I think if they looked at maybe, you know, construction of underground parking, so they have certain places where they, you know, you just have a basement area, and it goes underground. I think that could help rectify it. More parking space is required, absolutely. Uh, the fees of the parking needs also to be looked at. I think they need to plan like more uh, parking spaces, especially uh, along like uh, the most populated areas and uh, around the big uh, business areas as well. Okay. So maybe different uh, story buildings, something like that can be helpful. What are your thoughts on this? Do let us know by writing in to us on news at emirates247.com. Vitika, Emirates 24-7, Dubai.